To some other news, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea has made several announcements that it will launch a rocket carrying a communication satellite sometime between April 4th and 8th. Nuclear envoys from South Korea, Japan and the United States have gathered in Washington to discuss the DPRK's impending rocket launch. On Thursday, the U.S. and South Korea warned that a launch would be a major provocation with serious consequences. Meanwhile, Japan's parliament is expected to issue a resolution next week demanding the launch be scrapped. On Saturday, Japan's Maritime Self-Defense Force Aegis guided missile destroyers headed for the Sea of Japan. They are moving into position to intercept the DPRK's rocket in the event that it falls onto Japanese territory. Earlier on the same day, a convoy of Japanese military vehicles carrying land-to-air missiles has arrived at Japanese Defense Ministry headquarters in Tokyo. Lee Chung has the story. A convoy of trucks loaded with Patriot Advanced Capability 3 equipment has entered the Japanese Ministry of Defense. This fire unit came from the Iruma Air Base in Saitama Prefecture, north of Tokyo. Two Patriot fire units based at Hamamatsu Air Base in Shizuoka Prefecture will soon be moved to northeastern Japan. One to the city of Akita, Akita Prefecture, and the other to a village near Morioka, Iwati Prefecture. A set of the Pac-3 missiles would be also brought into central Tokyo to defend the nation's capital. The destroyers, equipped with Aegis radar, will sail from their southern home port of Sasebo. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea has said it will launch a communication satellite in early April. Japan, the United States and South Korea suspect Pyongyang's planned launch may be a test firing of a ballistic missile. Lee Chung, CCTV.